Hello everybody and welcome to this video. I wanted to share something that I find very terrifying. So for the aim to learn how to do um, reading memory of a game, to be able to see them in virtual reality, and also to um, extract them for data science, for AI, for bot, for learning how to code, so for educational purpose, I try to read the memory. But by learning how to read, I am very close of how to write and uh, I realized that it's terrifying <laughs> because if you want to write in WoW, you cannot write on WoW because if you do, you will be detected, ban, and uh, your game is... Uh, yeah, it's so easy to detect that you change the C-sharp and C++ or the hard-coded code in the game because they are, I hope they are doing that. But you cannot do it with Lua so easily because Lua is an interpretive language where it's really hard to protect the value and you want it to be simple for the people using it. And so it means that you can easily read, but also inject data on Lua. And that's what you see here. So I did a Python script here that used type to say, I want to discuss with native windows, struct to have uh, converting stuff, time and random. And so I say, here is the process ID. Here is the address I need to change that you fetch from Cheat Engine or any other tool that allows you to read the memory. Then you just say, hey, here is the process under so the stuff that we will open to go stuff of, win of uh, WoW. Say, hey, I want to access those data. Okay. And then you wait a bit and you say, hey, you see this address over there that I convert? Okay, this is an hexadecimal address. And I want here to create a random number. Da -da -da -da. And this random number, it must be a double, so I just blow. As I have that, I say, hey, the double you see here, I want it to have it uh, as a decimal, but in byte. And so he converts that to the byte, uh, to a double, but to the byte. So now I have byte of a double. And I say, hey, could you put that in a buffer? And this byte buffer, you, could you write it on the memory at the place I said to you? And ta -da, you modify the uh, address of a memory that's running in WoW. And that's as simple as that to modify um, the address of WoW, one, of, one address of WoW. And the stuff is that um, you are modifying a float variable from C++ code of WoW or C code of WoW. No, 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 you're modifying a double value of a Lua code that is interpreted. So a, Lua, a code that is fly, flyable, that, that don't exist really in the code of WoW, and that is not so much protected. So, And so what it looks like on the, the other side, it's just that you do a frame, in the frame you do the update like this, and then um, you create a static array, and in this static array, you will have a decimal value that will store in the memory, like this. And this decimal value, that's what we tracked to know where it is. So as you can see here, I was tracking here, and I found on the address, and with that, I am able to say, hey, this is this one that I need to modify. Then you do a previous one that will allow you to, hey, is this one a different of this one? And you put it in the update of there. So you say, hey, does this memory part of the game did change? If yes, then just say that it changed. Then write it in the command to say, hey, something changed. And uh, call a method that could have exception because I could break by uh, giving the wrong value. And then here I say, hey, if the command is between 1000 and over zero, because I don't want him to send a random number, I just want an integer between that and that, then, uh, because I don't want a big array, you go um, run the Lua command from the table over there, uh, and you take what the number the guy sent me to say, this is this one, this one, this one, or this one that I want. So you just store your old recommend in, as a string in an array and you call it from the memory. And so that's how you can inject that up. <laughs> that's terrifying. Oh my God.
Hmm. I don't know if we can do string because the string is changing all the time of memory. But now I have a doubt because reading is hard, but writing? Yeah, but the problem is that you will have to detect when it is the user who writes. Yeah, writing text is different from writing just number. Huh? It's really easy to write number, but writing text nah, will be a, a bit harder. But so yeah, you prepare your, your function, tang, 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 and you have that. And for writing React commands, uh, what you do here is you do something like where you are you? Uh, I come back here, uh, here, here, here. So you create a method that receives a text and you say, I want to load this string. Apparently it's depreciated, so may maybe there is a better way to do it. You load the string from this and then uh, you will have an error if something went bad. And if something uh, here, yeah, Lua code, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lua code function. Ah, yeah, Lua code function. I, I, I don't know what it returned. <laughs> I, I won't lie, I don't know what is here. I suppose it's the return of loading string. It's a function. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's the function. So you give it a text, he converts the text in a function, and so he said, I did have an error or not, and if it's not an error, then I have the code that I can call over there. And so I say, do I have a code? Yes, and then execute the code, and ta-da! So that's how you convert a text into code. And so basically here is that how uh, or we call for example, work. So we call you put some text, ta -ta 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 -ta, in a field, and then uh, he links that to macro, and then ta-da, you can do macro with text, and that's what you do. Except that here we just generate that, and then we call it from uh, outside. So, for example, if you would like to do an editable command line executable from outside of the game, you could have some text field and you put your code in the text field and then uh, you call the index of the text field you want to call and that that way you could technically execute some command in a row. Now the question is what a hacker can do when he have access to a Lua code inside the game? Because you cannot do macro so I try to use macro text and macro exist, but um, Blizzard just close you Adam. He, he's like, no kidding, just go fuck yourself. So you directly uh, are closed, and it warned the user that you can someone try to run a macro. So you can't run a macro like this. Um, but yeah. So terrifying to know that it's super easy to inject uh, Lua text, and. You may you you can maybe inject text here that I won't try because it will be maybe uh, I not that's not my subject I try not try to write in WoW I just try to read the reason why I was looking for writing in WoW is because I would be really enjoying playing WoW in virtual reality and I would love to be able to inject here uh, the camera position. Because if I can set the camera position of the user from a data that I'm sending from outside, then I can take the rotation of the headset and then send the rotation in here the print and make that you can have a first person uh, view in the air of the game. And that would be so amazing to, to, to do that. But the stuff is that I think that to be able to set the camera position, I will have to do a run or a macro and I think that it won't be uh, allowed, but that's the next step I need to watch. So yeah, hope you learn to do that. If it's useful to you, uh, great. Uh, now you know how to execute some React code from outside of a uh, world without cheat engine. So congratulations, you can hack the game. <laughs> uh, I, don't forget that any hack uh, can lead to a ban. And any hack that can lead to um, whoa, losing money can lead to a sue, uh, uh, for them to sue you, I suppose. So don't do it for bad stuff. Uh, don't do it for hacking. Don't do it for, yeah, basically you're taking risk by doing it. I don't know how high are the risks, but you are taking risks. 
Me, it was for educational purpose to show how we can do inject command in Lua, not in WoW, but in, in general, because here it's a Lua problem, it's not a WoW problem. You can do that in any game that is using Lua. So if you have a game in Lua that you that use Lua that you want to read memory from or write memory from, that's how you can do it. So yeah, have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye. May the code be with you.